even after the embryo has grown into an adult, many of the body's cells continually die off and need to be replaced. For example, billions of red blood cells need to be replaced each day. This is the work of stem cells known as hematopoietic stem cells, which are located in the bone marrow. Residing in a complex cellular environment, the hematopoietic stem cell is able to generate precursors to every type of blood cell. And indeed, these stem cells have been used by physicians for decades to replenish patients' blood supplies following radiation treatment for cancer. The stepwise differentiation of a stem cell's progeny depends on combinations of genetic and environmental factors that gradually steer these cells into following a specific lineage. This process involves different sets of stimulating factors operating in the cell's environment, at its surface membrane, and within its nucleus. Each step down the path draws it closer to becoming a functional red blood cell and entering the bloodstream. The lining of the small intestine turns over even faster than the blood. At the microscopic level, this epithelial surface consists of billions of projections called villi, with stem cell containing areas known as crypts near their bases. The intestinal crypt contains slowly dividing stem cells that maintain their own numbers while also producing rapidly dividing progenitors. These transit amplifying cells churn out all of the differentiated cell types needed to migrate upwards and replace older cells as they are shed from the tips of the villi. This constant self-renewal by stem cells is a feature of many of the body's systems, including skin, hair, and bone. 